God, we didn't have to go far, Paimon. What's oh, your problem? I'm sure it was a lot of stuff. You went five meters oh, down the road, guys. Looking forward to the event later. Ah, there's no convincing them. Thank you, Mr. Farhad. Thank you, Sumter Man. Sumter Man. <laughs> Thank you, Paimon, for finally pitching in after two years of listening to your bullshit. Oh. Hmm. Didn't you just eat it all before? All right, I'll leave you all to it. Thanks, Farad. Bye. Appreciate the hand, even though it was just down the road. See ya. Good thing we had Mr. Farhad with us, or else that would have taken way longer. Uh, again, you were like 20 meters down the road. Does it matter if you had to make multiple trips? It's not that big a deal. The atmosphere here is nice. Is everyone always this friendly? Of course. <laughs> because everyone's working here together. Yeah, I do think the vibe here at this bazaar is very friendly. Very inviting. Very fun. We're all like neighbors. So we're always helping each other out. Hmm. It's easy to forget that everyone's running a business. Does that kid not run out of energy? How do you keep going? I feel exhausted just looking at you. With this many freebies being at you, you probably don't need to work. But she likes dancing. <laughs> I felt so guilty at first. Like I always owed someone something. I was always thinking of ways to repay others. Later on, I realized that it's actually like what Mr. Offsheen said. By taking the freebies, I was helping everyone out and saving them money. When you order the wrong item or make too much of something, Sometimes the best way to maximize the value of those goods is to give them away. That's why there's no need to stress over the freebies. All of us repay others by helping them when they need it. Oh, that actually makes a lot of sense. Glad you think so. This has become our norm, and no one keeps track of the back and forth anymore. So really, don't worry about it. All right, I have to bring all this to Mr. Zubair and do a little bit of prep. Feel free to hang out here for a bit. It'd be nice if you could also get to know some other people at the theater. The only other person who held on the kids is the dude back there. You sure you don't need any help? Nope. Mr. Zubair's really on top of everything. Well, that's exactly what you want from a boss, so good for you. You two are our guests. So please, just relax and look forward to the celebration. Thanks, Neelu. Wow, the atmosphere here is so nice! No, we are talking to him. Just a two? No, warm. who's the third? Ah, lady over there. I've got to say, my eyelids keep drooping. Oh gosh. Uh, an alarm in the. Well, the electricity went off last night when I was sleeping, which was great because it meant the fan went off. Uh, but the alarm in the apartment across the road from me decided to go off. Like the apartment building. Very loud, shrill alarms. I don't know if the, the losing electricity tripped the alarm. Or something in the building tripped the electricity, which set off the alarm. I'm not quite sure which way it went, but it was loud. It was in the middle of the night. It woke me up and it went for a very, very, very long time until somebody came. I don't know if it was an energy truck or whether it was the, a fire truck. I don't know who the freaking hell it was. It was a big truck by the sounds of it. Finally turned that goddamn alarm off. But by that point, I've lost so much sleep, I'm very tired, my eyelids keep shutting. So I actually don't know if I can finish this story quest right now because I am so tired right now. It is so hard to stay awake. Inaya. But I want to get through it. I want to get to the Archon quest. What? And you know, why does that dude look like he has a terracotta pot in his head? <laughs> What games I need to play other than this. Who are you? You can't just go on the stage as you please. Wow, that's not very hospitable. Relax, we're here with Nilu. Ah, I see. Sorry for my overreaction. Do you need a nap as well? <laughs> I'm just uh, making a prop. No time for chit chat. You don't sound very convincing, Anaya. Is that embroidery? No. Well, yes. Not really, it's a prop. It's not an embroidered prop? It's just, uh, some fabric. An ordinary piece of fabric that we use in a show. Why are you so weird? Uh, sorry. I really do need to focus and start working on it. You're acting really weird. 
sorry to just bother you. Honey, I am not apologizing for this. We won't disturb you then. What an odd... I know, right? Is Rob making something to be that jumpy? No, about? it really isn't. Oh, She's well, weird. Business. Whatever. Let's just not associate with any art ever again. Kasani. Kasani. Hey there. Hmm. Ah. A newcomer. Oh, I forgot these are theater kids. Oh, dear God. Doesn't look too bright. <laughs> Savage opening. Hey, talk about judging a book by its cover. I mean, it's accurate, isn't it? You, on the other hand. Ooh. Hmm, you're a special one. Thank you. How would you describe the concept of art? Oh, dear, I'm about to fail this art. Why are you asking that all of a sudden? Mere curiosity is all. It makes no difference whether you answer or not. It is a tangible manifestation of human sentiments. It is an expression of our aesthetic ideas. Ooh, it could be both. I mean, the bottom answer sounds the most pragmatic, but I'm leaning towards the top one. So that's what you think, hmm? But do I detect judgment in your tone? Unremarkable. Bruh. Better than an average person's thoughts, but nothing exceptional. Bruh. Look, I had two options, and I was feeling that one. Zero judgment from you. Is art a product that we create and bring forth? Or is it a naturally existing resource? Depends on your definition of art. I mean, nature in itself could be called art, but that is a naturally existing resource. I, for one, believe it to be the latter. Uh, unfortunately, I disagree with you and believe it to be the former, but you do you, boo. I've been staying here for a long time. On occasion, I'd assist them in penning lines of dialogue. Of course. But most of my time, I just stand back and watch. Good for you. I prefer to abstain from writing as it spoils the viewing experience. I don't know that I would agree with that, but I guess to each their own. The existence of the theater, of Nilu, and of humanity itself. All of these can be considered as forms of art. Mm. It is not some intangible construct beyond the horizon. Well, it isn't. An, oh, it's not the intangible, is it? Yeah. Hmm. How does that have anything to do with us? Let me ask you this. What do you think is the meaning of art? I don't know. To serve as an answer to your questions? I don't like either. Why are they give me such shitty options? <laughs> I suppose that question was a little too difficult for it you. It wasn't. They just really didn't give me much in the way for a response, so I had to be rather inarticulate. Sorry. To chance upon a spark of inspiration. I have been closely Ooh, observing where's you, Muse? the players on the stage That's just and those watching in the audience. Mm -hmm. Art is already all around us. Mm -hmm. I always find that watching the audience is one of the more interesting things to do. There are a lot of, like, Stories and poetic moments where people are like, at a wedding, we always look at the, the groom as the bride comes. Because normally when you, the bride arrives, you turn around and watch the bride. But people turn around to watch the groom because it's his reaction that's the most important. And I kind of feel like with the theatre performance, you know, it's if you're part of the theatre troupe, the performance itself is not what's important. It's watching the audience and seeing their reaction that's the most important. So I do get you on this point, sir. Wait, that was it? Well, uh, why are you riveting? Rakar, Rakar, props engineer. You don't, you don't work with what's a face over there. It was a bit weird. Hey there, I saw you two helping Nilu move some stuff. What is what? What even is a props engineer? Can you be more specific? Are you two also here for the celebration event? We certainly are. Thank you for asking. You got it. My name is Rakar. Nadia and I are this theater's prop engineers. I also help out with some other tasks like housekeeping. Oh, you're the two ladies with the porter and the toy seller. Wait, it was those two, wasn't it? I think it was those two. Okay. Uh, so why are you a props engineer if you do housekeeping? The little ones causing a ruckus are my children, Soreen and Abi. I hope they aren't bothering you. Uh, their inexhaustible energy is is bothering me. I'm not gonna lie; it makes me very jealous. 
But also I keep looking at their knees with my current knee injury, just thinking, holy shit, that can't be good for them. They always get really excited every time we hold celebration event. They're adorable. They're really not. They're so lively. Yes, they are. Everyone here takes great care of them. Because here we're all one big family. There's good right. work here, the pay's always on time, and Nilu and the others will often volunteer to play with the kids. See previous point. I'm quite content with this current way of life. I didn't ask, but good for you. Um, do you mean your life wasn't nearly as good before? Paimon. It's all right. It's all water under the bridge Are now. you a single mother? My husband and I ha. were both adventurers, oh. but he passed away from an accident. That's so sad. Material struggles can always be overcome, but ever since then, I haven't been able to spend much of my energy on anything else. And I blame you, the kids look exhausting. But I still consider myself lucky. Mr. Zubair has helped me a lot, and the atmosphere here is tolerant and kind. It's a very good environment for raising children, so I commend you in your position. Sorry for bringing up such sad memories. I mean, I think at this point she's out. Okay, okay, I was about to say she's over it, but that is incorrect. She has made her peace with it, because I feel like enough time has passed by the way she was speaking of it. Oh, it's all right. I don't mind. Once the event starts, you'll be able to see for yourself the kind of atmosphere I was talking about. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm, ge I'm getting a sense of, like, a family <gasps> environment. I guess that's what we're going to see in the performance. The probably about to start. Where is she? What was you? Oh, she, I'm sorry. She was hiding behind the pillar. I was like, where is she? She's, she's behind the pillar. Hello, Zuber. We meet again. Sorry for the wait. Preparations for the celebration are finally done. Oh, don't worry. I kept myself entertained with the theater troupe. They are... They're an interesting collection of people, shall we say. I'll call everyone over, and then we can start. Let us give you a hand. <laughs> Thank you. And by us, she means me. Everyone gathers together and the event finally starts. Participants prepare to exchange their... Maybe we really should have prepared a Presents? Gift. Then we could also be a part of the exchange. Eh, you'll survive. As it is, all we can do is wait and watch. There can be fun in that. Um, maybe we shouldn't do this after all. Do, do what? I didn't do that great of a job. And who would even like it? Jesus, does she have crippling self-esteem issues? I can't deal with that right now. Oh, don't think like that. Remember our promise? We're going to give everyone a pleasant surprise. In what regard? And besides, you've never attended a celebration event before. So this will be a great opportunity. Everyone will love you. I'm still... not really sure about this. How does this work? Does everybody buy a gift for everybody else? Or is it one person randomly draws and that present is for that party? How, how does this work? Because otherwise that shit gets really expensive real quick. There's nothing to be worried about. Just take a step forward and give yourself a chance. There aren't any scary people here, right? Right. Huh. All right. Maybe this will help. Everyone, over here! Inaya has something great to tell you all. Wait, wait! I've already said that I'm not ready yet. Uh, what should I say? Do you have to say something? Take it easy and relax. Deep breath, in and out. Once you've taken a long exhale, calmly tell everyone what you want to say. Okay. I'm going to intercede here. Pfft, of course I am, because why wouldn't I? And so the, what Nilu just did there is an absolute class A dick move. You never, ever do that to a person who's a shy, a shy, sorry, who is shy or is an introvert. They say they're feeling anxious about something and they don't want to speak in public. And then you immediately go, hey, everybody, come look at us right here. So everyone's attention is on this poor person. And then you force them into the spotlight by saying, XYZ has something that they want to tell you. That is the worst thing imaginable you can do. And now she's trying to coach it. Take it easy and relax. Deep breaths in. Calmly tell everyone you want to... I'm sorry. You've just pulled a, an absolute dick move. There is no recovery from that, Nilu. You, you're supportive to the point that it's detrimental to the point of, uh, to everybody around you. I'm really enraged on Inaya's behalf right now. <laughs> if you don't say anything... Then all the hard work we put into embroidery practice would have gone to waste. But why does she have to say something? 
If it's just gift sharing, can't you just do it without words and do it all like subtly and shit? Why, why did you have to make her the center of attention when she wasn't ready for it? Using it as a gift though? It really isn't that good. To be fair, her crippling self-esteem issues is uh, a little frustrating. So when Inaya was talking about making a prop, she was actually preparing a present. She looks so nervous. She's not very good at expressing it. She's not. And she probably should work on that. But like, I don't think a situation has been doing her any favors by suddenly being the center of attention. Yeah, it feels like she still doesn't really see herself as part of this community. Well, how long has she been a part of the community? Because that may also reflect uh, why she feels that way. But it looks like Nilu's trying to ease her through. Nilu did not go about this in the right way at all. Actually, Inaya had prepared a special present for everyone before the celebration kicked off. See, see, still bad, but a better way of doing it. Instead of saying, Inaya has something to say and thrusting her into the spotlight, you're taking some of it onto you, which is how you should have started it. I still think it's a dick move to even, you know, bring it the attention to her, but this is a better way of doing it. Why are you so excited? You like embroidery, kid? We're gonna get our first present from Miss Inaya! I appreciate your enthusiasm. This better bolster her self-esteem. Pipe down! The louder you all are, the more nervous she'll become. Good on you, defending your friends, staff, family. But I do think the kid's encouragement is, is gonna be good for her, actually. You've worked on it for so long, so have some confidence. Don't be afraid. It's a good boss, isn't he? You've got this! Uh, is Mr. Zubair here? Sharif. Who's Sharif? Sheikh Zubair. This is an urgent notice from the academia. This celebration, or whatever it is, must stop at once. Who was the dude who broke up the Subzaris festival? I don't remember what it looks like. The one with the chick whose name I've completely forgotten. Easily done. It's not this dude, is it? I'm pretty sure they're different dudes. He had white hair, didn't he? I don't remember. What a condescending guy. What's his deal? Yeah, he's a bit of a dick. Everyone follows Sheikh Zubair as a space bloke. I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have just Since stood on the Zubair side of the stage and yelled down on him. Violated the academia's High ground, yo. And orders. We have decided to demolish it. Yeah, see, they already had this conclusion back at the end of the Zubair's Festival. So that's what I was expecting. And then we're like, we're having another event. I'm like, what? And now they're finally following through. Bit of a delayed reaction. As its manager, you must halt all operations and dismiss all staff members within 30 days. After which, you will report to the Academia for further punishment. Hey, Zubair, do you want me to make it look like an accident? I can make it look like an accident. They'll never know. Why force us to do this all of a sudden? Because I don't like seeing people having fun and being happy. Little girl, this is <gasps> not the first time you've been issued a warning. Bruh. Wow. I feel outraged on Lily's behalf. It's as if someone called me just ma'am or honey or darling. Oh, you didn't. I didn't hear anything about demolition the last time I asked. And now I suddenly only have 30 days? We have more shows planned, but it's impossible to do anything in just 30 days. How am I supposed to explain this to my customers and staff? That issue is of no concern to me, Mr. Zubair. That's because you're a douche nuzzle. You seem to understand the situation quite clearly. Perhaps you can reflect on the reasons why you have failed to prepare for the scenario in advance. He's really not a nice person. Demolition? Why do they want to demolish this place? Because it's art, Paimon, and they don't work in art. They work in research and logic and reason. The Academia has never liked us, and they've never respected our work. To them, what we do is all a waste of time. This isn't the first time they've come by. They had asked us several times in the past to improve the quality of our performances by only putting on shows they consider to be sufficiently intellectual. But our audience isn't the Academia. It's the people of the Grand Bazaar. If our shows are too difficult to understand or too removed from everyday life, nobody would watch them anymore. Changing our content would not only mean turning our backs on our vision, it would also directly lead to the loss of our livelihoods. If the theater actually gets demolished, many people would become displaced. Yeah, 
the theater is very important to each and every one of us. Hmm. The way they're doing things is so scummy. Yeah, well, that sums up the academia in one word. But I also don't know how we can stop them. Yeah, to be honest, I don't know how either. I mean, I don't know how Samaria City works, so I have no clue. I do not wish to explain everything again from the beginning. Oh, but I wish Time you would. Is of the essence. Yeah, I'd love to waste yours. So you yours. should act with haste instead of asking frivolous <gasps> questions. But that's the best way to get back at you. Waste your time by asking questions. This is great, guys. Pepper him with questions. But none of us plan to accept this. Such an abrupt notice is contrary to established policy. Ask whoever you will. The answer will remain the same. We have already given you sufficient notice. Enough! Does your audacity know no limits, father? <gasps> what? <laughs> you do that to your own child? You deserve to be, I don't know, vivisected? I don't know. I can't think of a horrendous suffering. That sounds pretty bad. Sounds painful, actually. <laughs> huh? Father? Close enough. Their family? Apparently. What academia? This is all because you don't like Zubair Theater. You're just using the Academia's name to threaten us. What's he got against the theater? Let me tell you. Even if you manage to tear down this place, nothing is going to change. Hold up. Is he threatening the livelihood of quite a number of people just because he doesn't approve with your life choice? Please tell me I'm misinterpreting this. You've always been awful. But even I never thought my father would sink this low. This is strictly business. It has nothing to do with where you are, what you do, or what you think. I hope you all have not been irrevocably blinded by folly. <laughs> I will not waste more time on pointless arguments. Dude. I'll meet you at midnight and no one will find your buddy. Wrap everything up and make preparations to shut down at once. Ah. Why is he always like that? I don't know. It's your flesh and blood, not mine. This is quite the misfortune, but there's nothing we can do. I'm sure there's something. To be honest, I don't really know what, because the Academia is kind of the highest power in the, uh, the, the city. But surely you can petition to other people at the Academia and start like a, well, a petition, I suppose. Get some support from other people from the academia, so you know they, they've got objection from within. That's it for today, everyone. Let's clean up. We haven't even done anything. I'll go talk to them again tomorrow. <sighs> the storms that come out of the blue are always the hardest to deal with. I would argue that all of them are hard to deal with, but sure. Talk with Nilu. Okay. I don't really know why you had to take me out of the cutscene. It's not like you give me interactivity by going step, 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 talk. <laughs> Sorry. I invited you thinking this was going to be a happy occasion. I didn't know that things would turn out like this. I'm sorry, Leila. I still can't get over the fact that that dude's hat looks like a terracotta or a clay pot turned upside down. It's really distracting. There's no need to this apologize, Nilu. No one could have seen this coming. Oh, Paimon just wishes she could have at least gotten to the food. Hashtag priorities, child. Is what that guy said true? The Academia has already given you many warnings? Well, they gave one such warning at the end of the Subzerius Festival. Do you not remember Paimon? I actually remember that. <laughs> yeah, I guess you could say that. They've always seen us as being meaningless. Knowledge is king in Sumeria, and their pursuit of it leaves no room for the arts. But if that's all it is... There's also no reason to go so far as to demolish the theater. So it really has something to do with Inaya. After Inaya ran away from home, I brought her here to Zubair Theater. She rarely talks about her family. All I know is that she didn't get along with them. Maybe she doesn't consider them her family, so why would she talk about them? I never expected it to blow up like this. If you did nothing wrong, then there's no reason to listen to the Academia, right? Oh gee, I don't know, maybe some laws, Paimon? Who cares? Let's Take him in a fight. I mean, I also do agree. <laughs> Let them take it from us. I'll show them. That's really not how the world works. That might solve the underlying problem. We won't always be. This is also true. Ah, uh, that's true. 
I'll try to think of something. We can't just let everyone suffer in a perpetual state of fear and uncertainty. What to do? What to do? I don't have an answer for you. Can you pretend to shut down, but secretly continue to hold your shows somewhere else? How will they not get word of that? Or we could go through a list of customers and try to see if anyone in there might be willing to help out. Uh, that also doesn't sound like it'll work. I think a scholar once told me that differences can be settled through a deba debate. Ugh, please tell me it's not where we're going. A debate? Huh. Well, scholars do love to use them to solve their problems, but how would that work in this case? We just need to prove that the theater's existence has value. Oh! If we can prove to Inaya's father that the Academia's position doesn't hold water, then they won't have a reason to demolish the theater! If we can prove to the father the Academia's position doesn't hold water... Is that really a saying we have in English? Okay. I see. Defeating him in a debate. It's a good idea, but... Which one of us could hope to win against a researcher? Let's go put the introvert, the shy introvert, on the case. Because that's going to end well. Please tell me you're not insinuating yourself. Huh? Me? I'll think of that. No, 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 no. I'm the literal worst at arguments. I can't debate. Better you than Anaya. Debates aren't arguments. You debate to prove that you're right. Nilu, you are only so stressed out right now because you care so much about protecting the theater. Passion, Nilu. Passion is what is required to win debates. I... And logic and reason. But passion first and foremost. This theater holds a special meaning in all of our hearts. It's irreplaceable. But I just don't know. Can I really take on such a huge responsibility? Yeah, someone's gonna do it. It ain't gonna be me. You'll be fine as long as you prepare. I'll do my best to help. Paimon will help too. You'll feel a lot more confident after doing some prep work. Believe in yourself. Thanks, you two. All right. I've decided. Even though I may fail, I'll do my very best for everyone's sake. That's our Nilu. We're rooting for you. Okay. Let's head back and tell everyone what we came up with. Okay, I'll go the five meters down the road and talk to everybody. Well, actually, what do you want me to do? Gather everybody and get the situation straight. Wait. Peace and good health should be enjoyed by all. I mean, I'm going to assume I go up if because I, can I can't really see what else they want from me. This, Am I, I supposed to speak content. to everyone? See, I would, I would stand here and gather everybody. I don't actually understand the instructions.